All right, guys, and we're back with part two. So here we go. This game is pretty good so far. Decent. I'm enjoying it. I really am. Oh, look, a pig. You can make bacon. Oh, yeah, we gotta make a lot of bacon. Hey, piggy, come here. Let me get some of that bacon. Oh, blood. Blood. Fresh. Fresh blood. That pig. Someone made bacon. Or pork chops. What's over here? Over here. Alright, what about over here? What about here? Right there. Alright. <laughs> Let's check this one. Let's check the cart. Drop a like. It's much appreciated, guys, by the way. Really helps me out. Makes me feel special. That's father's car. <laughs> Lord Bolton better give us fucking titles for this. It may be common, but at least still have his bacon. <laughs> They're taking my bacon. Move along, boy. There's nothing for you here. Father, I said move on. I'm going to know what's happening. Is that so? You can try if you like, and then we'll feed you to the pigs. Get off my land! This is Bolton land now, boy. Lord Bolton is the new warden of the north. I reckon he'd like a proper lordly sword like that. Yeah, what's up, dog? I can defend myself. No. I'll have that sword, boy. You're not having nothing. Come get it, you bastard. Oh crap, he got the sword. Finish this fucking pig farmer. Pathetic. You really are a pig farmer, aren't you? Gotcha. Think I'm a pig farmer now? What's up, dogs? Uh. He stabbed me in my, my leg. Mercy, please. I beg of you. I, I have a family. They'll never survive without me. I have no quarrel with you. I, I was only following orders. No, please. Screw your orders. White Hill will see you hang for this. That much I promise. That was awesome. I am a boss. Father? Garrett, you survived. <laughs> that Your was sister. cool. I was like, get off my lane. She hid. I tried to stop them. <laughs> I'll 
kill the men who did this. I already killed two of them. <coughs> Man, that was pretty intense. That was I like this. This game is good. Me like it. Me like it a lot. Oh yeah, I'm stabbed. I need some assistance. Help me. It's Garrett! Get the Castellan! Tell him his nephew survived! Garrett! I was too late. They were already dead. Bring the maester! Meet us in the Great Hall! Quickly! Two White Hill soldiers? And a Bolton. They killed my family. And for what? My sister, she... She was only eight years old. This never would have happened with the Starks in power. It's... Yep. Unimaginable. Unacceptable. You have my condolences. Thank you, Mister. Hmm, the blade cut deep, but I should be able to save your leg. Good, I can't live without that thing. Your justice was swift. Some will call it vengeance. No doubt the White Hills will claim it was murder. It was your family. I can't say I would have done any different than you. It was justice. They got what they deserved. They did indeed. We can't let the White Hills just walk all over us. These maggots ought to help prevent infection. Hold the wound you put open, maggots you? in my wound? Really? Aw, oh, that's nasty. Aw, oh, come on. That is disgusting. These are dark days, I fear. To lose the lord of the house and the eldest son through such a despicable act of treachery and betrayal. Greater houses than ours have fallen in times such as this. The late Lord Forrester was a good man. And poor Roderick. A serious man, but he would have made a good lord. Well, what do we do now? The future of this house is in Lord Ethan's hands now. Although he is young and altogether unprepared to lead. Right. Uh, this might hurt a bit. Don't hurt Not me too much now. I already had to see that nasty stuff. I understand from your uncle that Lord Forrester saved your life. He did. Rather odd, though, that he chose to save you, his squire, and not his son, Roderick. Not that Roderick couldn't handle himself. He was as good with a sword as any man I've seen. He gave me a message to deliver. A message? About what? What did he tell you? Get my uncle. I was told only to tell him. Your uncle? Yep. I see. Must be rather important then. I'm not telling you. Sorry. Lady Forrester will be here any moment now. I'd like you to walk for me first, to see if you can put any weight on that leg. Uh. Go on. Don't stop now. It's better to let the blood circulate. All right. What's the Lord's chair? Window? Let's go look out the window. I'm so sick, the dudes. Ironwood Grove. All right, is that good enough for you? Rather cute little creatures, aren't they? I guess. Not really. Bandages. I'll take them. Can I keep them? Q 
healing herbs. I'll take it. This might help. <laughs> All right, talk to the master. Hmm. You want to see my sword? It's a good thing you've done, bringing that back to House Forrester. By right, that belongs to Lord Ethan now. We'll see about that. Mm-hmm. Did your leg feel weak? No. I just wanted to ask you. Who is the new lord of House Forrester? Why, Ethan, of course. Hmm. At the Citadel, I swore an oath to serve whichever noble house I was assigned. Advising the late Lord Forrester was an honor. Advising Ethan, his third-born son, is... Challenging. There's still so much he has to learn, yet the very fate and future of this house rests in his hands. Which is rather frightening when you think about it. Alright. What will happen to me now? Excellent question. Hmm. Under normal circumstances, you could join Sir Roiland and his men. Although, given the circumstances of your... Circumstances, it becomes a bit tricky, doesn't it? I suppose it will be for Lord Ethan to decide. Lord Forrester promoted me. At the Twins, I... I'm no longer a squire, if that matters. It might, I suppose. But I'll defer to Lord Ethan on this. Can I go now? I believe your leg will be fine. Only time will tell, but... Lady Forrester. Hey, Lady Welcome Forrester. Home, Garrett. We're all relieved to know you survived. Thank you, my lady. Talia asked to see you. Garrett, I heard what happened. Is it true? Your family... I'm so sorry. Me too. Not your fault, baby girl. Off to bed now. Hurry on. Garrett was just telling me how valiantly Lord Forrester fought to the end, even when all was lost. I'm sure Lady Forrester would like to know. Whatever you can recall. He was a hero, my lady. The bravest man on the battlefield by far. Yet he was unable to save his own son. You were with Roderick, no? I'm sure it was chaos and confusion. But if you can remember anything, I'm sure Lady Forrester would like to know. He... he fought valiantly, my lady. Of course he did. He was House Forrester's best. Yes, he was a beast. This has been yeah, so incredibly difficult for us. Especially the children. But I was told... I was told you were the last to see my husband alive. Yes, my lady. I know it may be difficult to remember, but if I may ask... Was there anything he said? Any last words before he... Past. He asked me to return this to House Forrester. He said this is where it belongs. With his family. Thank you, Garrett. Of course, my lady. They demand a response. It's too dangerous, especially now. I'm not gonna tell her. Now is the time to prove our strength. I'll be sure it's given to Ethan. Duncan, this was our land. They were our people. Your family. I share your outrage, Sir Roiland. I do. But now is not the time to provoke the White Hills. Not with Ramsay Snow coming to see us bend the knee. The hell oh, with Ramsay Snow. Ramsay Snow is crazy. Garrett, you understand what this means. You killed a Bolton, and Ramsay Snow will want his retribution. We're the ones that should be demanding retribution. They attacked me! And they'll say they were keeping the peace in the name of House Bolton. It's an argument you cannot win. We have to be smart. Ramsay Snow will be here within the week. And what would you have us do? Nothing. I would have us use our heads, while they're still attached to our shoulders. Garrett has lost as much as anyone else within these walls. Maybe you can talk some sense into your uncle. Garrett's suffered enough already. You asked too much of the boy. 
He deserves to be heard. It was his family they killed. We should demand justice. Aye. Justice on their terms. Which means they'll have your head. Justice is taken, not demanded. Then what's to be done? What do we do? <sighs> Ultimately, it will be for Lord Ethan to decide. He's just where's, or, where's this Lord Ethan at? The sword. He knows nothing of how to lead men. He is the lord of this house, and he needs our help. It's bad enough the Boltons would have us bend the knee and swear fealty. But now, this, but I'll accuse you of murder, and us of protecting you. The boy was just defending himself. I'm not faulting him for what he did. I'd have done the same, as any man would. I've done nothing wrong! Not in their eyes. It's just the excuse Ramsay Snow would need to put us to the torch and kill us all. I'd like to see them try. I'm afraid it's a risk we cannot take. Which is why you cannot stay. Cannot stay? Duncan, the boy has suffered enough. But, but where would I go? The one place yeah, beyond the reach of even House Bolton. You're sending him to the wall? The to boy's the wall. done nothing wrong. Not in the eyes of the Boltons. I'm afraid it's the only solution. I'll do what's best for the house. So I'll go. I'm not afraid. I know it doesn't seem fair, but it is what's best. I'll go for the walk. That settles it then. You can have my horse, and I'll see you have plenty of food, but we haven't much time. The White Hills will come looking for you. I gotta tell you something, don't I? He just teleported out of thin air. Word up to me. I'd gladly drive a sword through Lord Whitehill's heart if given the chance. I would. And God's willing, someday I will. But for now, I have House Forrester to consider first. Lord Forrester would be proud that you're putting the interests of the house ahead of your own. Many of Lord Forrester's best men have volunteered for the war. You're the only family I have left. In my heart, I know I'll see you again. Do you really I've believe I've been waiting that? for the right moment to tell you. What? Lord Forrester. Asked me to give you a message. He said, The North Grove can never be lost. Sorry, you caught me by surprise. It's not often discussed, if ever. He said, Tell only you. For good reason. Most don't even know it exists. They think it's just a myth made up by wildlings and fools. And it's better kept that way. I assume you kept your word. You haven't told anyone else, have you? Not a soul. This is important, Garrett. I need to know the truth. Of course not. I told no one. Well done. Lord Forrester was right to put his trust in you. From this day forward, this will be our secret. But soon, I may need your help. But I can't say anything more just yet. Just know the North Grove may very well be vital to the future of this house. But don't breathe a word of it to anyone at the wall. Become a ranger if you can. It will help. <clears throat> Iron from ice. Iron from ice. Remember. You represent House Forrester. Your actions at the wall will reflect the honor and dignity of the house. I'll make you proud. You already have. Oh, he said I already have. Oh, I'm crying now. I'm crying. I'm crying. I said I'll make you proud. He said I already have. I already have. He'll be holding that. Garrett, wait! Yes. A trinket. Be safe. Uh, 
our child, darling. Thank you.